Today I'm going to be taking a look at one of the most iconic pieces of video game music ever, the theme to Super Mario Bros. on the NES. It's officially known as the ground theme, but is sometimes referred to as the overworld theme, or by the translation of its Japanese name which is Above Ground BGM, written by Koji Kondo. I'm going to break it down into its individual components, and hopefully give you some insight into the capabilities of the sound chip on the NES in the process. Before I get into the technical stuff, here's a run through of the song with me isolating the individual tracks as it plays. The S-SMP sound chip on the NES can only make four sounds at a time. It's got two channels of PWM, or pulse width modulated square waves, one triangle wave, and one channel of noise. I've taken a small sample of each and looped them so you can hear what they sound like in their raw form. Here's the PWM. Here's the triangle. And here's what the noise channel sounds like. These four channels are then run through the S-DSP digital signal processing chip, which can add effects like attack, decay, and echo to turn plain old beeps into different instruments with unique textures. Believe it or not, every piece of music and every sound effect you've ever heard come out of an NES is made up entirely of these building blocks, used in extremely creative ways. To record the tracks for this video, what I did was use JNS, which has the ability to enable or disable each output individually, brought them into the free audio editor Audacity, and synchronized them from there. It's pretty fun to do. If you want to download the tracks I made of the ground theme, I'll make them available for download at friesacidtest.com. The link is in the description. Leave a comment and let me know what some of your favorite NES songs and sound effects are, and hit subscribe while you're at it. Thanks for watching!